Welcome to our 75th anniversary and marker ceremony. I'm Deborah Bagata Bowles. I'm the president of the YMCA of Delaware, which is a wonderful job, and Walnut is a big part of, of our, our Y here in the state of Delaware. I do want to say that there are not many things that are 75 years old. There are not many things that are 75 years old that look good and feel good. And that's what Walnut is. It's a place that looks good, feels good, does great work, and we are looking forward to another 75 years here in the community. Um, and we are going to do what needs to be done here, even if it's hard. So with that, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's come in here this morning, taken the time out of their day, say thank you for any small part you've had in the history of Walnut Street Y. Thank you to those that came before us, without whom we would not be standing here. Thank you to all of you that work here at Walnut and keep the doors open every day. With that, I just want to welcome our next speaker, Darius Brown, Wilmington City Council member. Welcome, Darius. Thank you for joining us. Good afternoon. Let's try that again. Good afternoon. That is the energy we need to see and look forward to seeing in the Walnut Street YMCA every day here uh, as our young people walk through these doors, many of them residents of the East Side community. Uh, again, my name is Darius Brown and I serve as the city councilman for the third district which you are in. So I want to welcome you to the third district, the place where opportunity lives and we want to celebrate that opportunity today in the institution, the cornerstone, the bedrock of the East Side community, which is the Walnut Street YMCA and the 75 years of rich history uh, that it has provided as a safe haven for residents on Wilmington's East Side and as an integral part of African American history and culture here in the city of Wilmington. I want to introduce our esteemed leader of our city, uh, the mayor of our city, uh, the one that provides the opportunity for me as a councilman and many of my colleagues to continue moving forward our initiatives and efforts to make Wilmington a vibrant place for us to work, live, and play. None other than our mayor, the Honorable Dennis P. Williams. Mayor Williams. First of all, I want to say the third district is the best district in the city of Wilmington. It's the district that I was raised in. I also want to say my grandparents lived at 919 Walnut Street, and every weekend I would spend the uh, weekend with them, and I would come over here and bowl, play checkers, and Try to play chess, never could get that. But uh, we had great storytellers who were here, teachers that came in and volunteered on the weekend, would read stories to us, and this was a, a refuge for us. And as I came from the east side, the northeast side, I came here and had weekend friends as well as I had weekday friends on the other side of the city. And we all came here, and this was a place to gather, and we had several movie theaters in downtown, but the Y was the place where we, we gathered. We had a great time here, good people here, and people that were always here to volunteer for us and never complained. Even sometimes we drove them crazy. And this is a pillar of the community, as Darius stated. I mean, and I'm, I'm so proud of you, young man. And I want you to continue to keep pushing the third district in the city of Wilmington. And with that, I want to bring up the most beautiful woman in the General Assembly, Senator Margaret Rose Henry. Well, good. I think it's afternoon. Good afternoon. I apologize for my tardiness. I was on the other side of my district doing the unveiling of the Route 9 Library that we also are proud of today. I want to congratulate Councilman Darius Brown for his unwavering support of our community here and for making today a reality. He stays on it. If it's something to be done in the 3rd District, you certainly will hear about it. I'm going to read my remarks in, in, the, in order to be brief because if I had lived, I'll go on forever. <laughs> when this facility was first designed, it was hoped that the Walden Street YMCA would be a community center as well as a hub for Wilmington's African American population. And in that, it has succeeded beyond the wildest dreams of the Wise Board. It has admirably fulfilled the YMCA's mission of developing strong minds and bodies through its exercise facilities and its wide range of educational programs. 
And as you read the plaque we're going to unveil downstairs, you won't help, you will certainly be struck by the history of this particular site. And many of us, of us remember coming to this Y for many, many important occasions. So it's a hub in our community. It's, it was the center for the March of Equality for All Delawareans in 1941, John Davis of the National Negro Congress and the Lewis L. Redding, you know who Lewis L. Redding was, right? They called the passage for an equal rights bill from Delaware's African American community at the original Y. MCA, so it has a real historic significance. So it's really my honor to be able to participate in the unveiling, and I can't wait till we go downstairs to see it. Thank you so much. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Lee Bunting, and I'm the uh, executive director of the Downtown Y, which encompasses the Central and, and the Walnut Street Y. Um, September the 15th, 1979, 36 years ago, I started my Y career right here at the Walnut Street YMCA. And I was a, a youth director, uh, taught swimming lessons, uh, coached basketball, uh, ran the game room, uh, did a little bit of everything. And I was always impressed about the Y's mission and that what a powerful uh, source of good the Walnut Street YMCA was in the community. Um, I went on in my career, and I, but I came back again five years ago uh, as the executive director, and that still is true today. I'm so proud to be able to uh, be one of the leaders of this organization and uh, do the good work that we do. About, uh, about five or six years ago, we changed the purpose of, the, of this why a little bit, and well, not, not a, a lot, and we made it into a youth center. And we've done amazing work over those last five years, uh, especially in the areas of early childhood education, teens, summer camp, and um, swim team. But I don't want to take uh, some thunder away from my partner here, who has been helping me do this, uh, and that's Theo Nix. Uh, he's our board chairman, and I'd like to introduce him, and he has some uh, remarks as well. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm uh, honored to be the, the chair of the Walnut Street Downtown Branch YMCA. Um, we're here today to celebrate 75 years of a beautiful building. But what we also want to celebrate is 75 years of what we can do for these kids. Because those are the building blocks of what, what we're trying to do here. These kids are struggling all over this country and certainly in our city. And we have a, a historic duty to try to impregnate every one of them who comes into this building with knowledge and opportunity and dreams and visions to use their stumbling blocks as stepping stones to walk into the destiny that God has for every one of them. And so as a board member, as staff here, we've done a magnificent job. Christina and Chrissy have brought all kinds of kids here. So much so that, that we're at the seams. We, we, we have too many. We have a, a waiting list because we're giving them something substantive. We had a teen, a teen mission for uh, older teens uh, this summer so we wouldn't be like what happened in, in Baltimore. Uh, 300 kids signed up. That's, that's pretty good for, for Wilmington, Delaware. And so I want to encourage all of us as we move on to celebrate this building that all of us here can do something. These kids need us. Whether it's Black Achievers and what we're doing there, the great work there, to what we're doing down here at Walnut Street. Whether you're a politician or well, all of us have a, have a mission that, that we can do for these kids. Now the evidence shows that you know, we now are having kids go down to Camp Takwa, thanks to Deborah and some money, right? Camp Takwa exposes these kids to the beach, to water sports, to sailing. Our board believes that we need to inculcate and impregnate every one of these kids with soft skills so that they can lead to be global leaders. So, so we're going to inculcate them with music and dance and ballet and theater and all the kinds of things that wealthy kids have, our kids get. 
And our kids are special. Not because they are black, but because they are children of the Most High. Not because they're black, but because they are citizens of this country. And as a citizen of this country, they have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, which we have to try to teach them that. Not because they are black, but because they are human beings and not animals. And when we teach them this and show them what they can be and pull that dream out of them, all these kids have a dream, we can pull that dream out of them, then at such a time as this, we can look back and say, we treated them right. We did right by them. We did good by them. It's great that we have a plaque on the building, but it's really about what we can do for the kids. <coughs> And that will be the greatest legacy any one of us can leave. And I thank you for coming. <laughs> and now I'd like to introduce you to Stephen Mars, Director of State Public Archives. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Senator, Mayor, and all the staff of the YMCA. Where are y'all? Good afternoon. I bring you my name is Steve Mars. I'm the State Archivist and the Director of the Delaware Public Archives. And I bring you greetings from the archives. I heard the songwriter say a long time ago, may the work you do speak for you. And that's why we're here today. We're here to dedicate a Delaware historical marker that signifies what has happened on this historical site. The Delaware Public Archives is the responsible state agency for the Delaware Historic Marker Program. Since 1990, we've been in charge of that program and the program came in existence way back in 1931 when the state legislature got together and said there needs to be recognition of historical buildings, historical sites, and various places of worship as they contributed to Delaware's rich history. And since that time, over 580 historic markers have been dedicated throughout this great state of ours that we call home. And I would like to say that the archives itself does not choose these, uh, these markers. It's not us that tells the community, you need a marker here. It's the community working together with their state legislators and their city officials that decide where these markers should be and what is the text of those markers. What should be said to individuals so that when someone comes by here, they can read some history and understand what was important at this particular site. So again, I thank you for working with my staff. Sarah Dennison in the back ha is our program marker coordinator. Many of you have worked with her in the past and will I hopefully will continue to work with her in the future as you begin to identify those historical sites that mean something to the great city of Wilmington, that mean something to this particular community of yours. So again, thank you for your preservation and your commitment and your perseverance in ensuring that today we are celebrating a moment in history in this great city of Wilmington. Thank you all very much. There he is. Thank you. As we celebrate uh, the history of the third district, we talk about building better neighborhoods and building better neighborhoods is building better people. And the Walnut Street Y is one of those institutions that help us to build better people. In addition to building better people, it's our duty and responsibility to preserve the history of the neighborhood in which the Walnut Street Y uh, resides in. And so this area uh, was designated by city council under the leadership of mayor, then council president Baker, and councilman later to be President Ted Blunt, who's also here. Thank you, President Blunt, for being here with us today. Um, designated this area as an east side historical zone, an east side historical zone, where we can tell the rich history of Wilmington's east side. Uh, we began this work um, through the partnership with the mayor and his administration, the planning department, to tell this story, uh, and also with the dedication of the African American Heritage Center. And so I want to thank the vice president of the board, Reverend Lawrence Wright, for being here with us uh, this afternoon as well. Uh, in telling that story. Not only are we telling that story physically through the display of plaques, but we're also telling that story by you going onto a website 
morethanamap.com. Map is spelled with two P's, uh, playing off of the word app. So morethanamap.com tells the rich history here in the city of Wilmington, and we want to engage and we continue to engage the Wilmington community on telling that story. So you can go onto the site, you can upload pictures and tell your story, and it's public information that can be digested about the rich history that is here in Wilmington's east side in the third council district. I want to introduce and allow my council colleague who is here with me, a councilman Justin Wright, to come and to greet you. And then after that, um, our former mayor, who is a historian in his own right, uh, who has made such great investments in Wilmington's east side, uh, who is one that has created a culture of supporting our arts here in the city of Wilmington, uh, Clifford Brown Walk, which is literally a block away, uh, the Jazz Garden, the Jazz Festival, and all of the great work that has been done. Um, after Councilman Wright, we want to hear from um, Mayor uh, Jim Baker. Uh, good afternoon. I want to thank uh, my colleague, Councilman Brown, for this opportunity. Uh, for me, uh, just standing here, just thinking about uh, many, many years ago before I was born, my father uh, played in this facility. Uh, growing up, I had the opportunity to also play in this facility. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. Um, so, it, it, again, it's an honor. Uh, it's an honor to be here today. Uh, I've had the opportunity over the years to uh, actually work out, which... Uh, I haven't had the opportunity lately to do, <laughs> but nevertheless, we appreciate this facility uh, and thank you for the work that's being done here. Uh, and it's always a pleasure to serve as an at-large member of council. Thank you. Thank you. Well, <clears throat> good afternoon to everybody. Did, I, did Mayor Sills come in? Oh, okay. Well, anyways, uh, it's great being here. I think uh, those of us that are old enough uh, when they started talking about beautiful 75. <laughs> I, only, I only got a couple more and I better be beautiful at that time. Man. Somebody better come up and tell me that. But uh, it, this is a great facility. I remember when I first came to Wilmington, this was where all the meetings were held over in the, the gymnasium. And um, you had so many great people working. Ernie Congo was one, he was a youth worker. Mr. Redmond. Um, what was it? the chef was Portlock, wasn't it? Portlock. Yeah. I mean, well, you know, these things don't get here for nothing. <laughs> but, but yeah, huh? Mr. Oh yes, yeah, great guy. But anyways, there's so many great people, and uh, this was a place you came to eat and get all the gossip because Senator Holloway and Al Plan and all these people would be downstairs. Oh yeah. Well, he came later. You know. Mr. Stickney. But there were so many great people. So the Y has a great history and should be very proud of the fact that it serves so many young people and just this community. I mean, you used to have Harry across the street, which was the shoemaker, and you had the, the uh, Redding family. You had so many great families that lived right around here and their kids came here from all over. So uh, congratulations. I told him he's beginning to look like his dad. Uh, he just needs a mustache. You know. <laughs> Got to grow some gray, though. <laughs> but anyways, thank you all for being here. Certainly, uh, I know the mayor, you said third district. This was the fourth district, I'll have you know. This was not the third. Joe White stole it from me. That's the third name. That's where I came from. Of course you did. <laughs> but anyways, thank you all for being here. Congratulations to everybody. And uh, remember that history cannot be ignored for just some to be ignored and others to be written about. History's for all of us. And we're all a part of this great nation. And we better wake up and understand that we can't keep fighting each other and putting people down because of their color or whatever else we want to make it. Uh, Greatness is recognizing who you are and how to get there. So thank you very much. We want to thank everyone for being here as we dedicate the plaque for the Walnut Street Y celebrating 75 years. 
Uh, we could not be here without the work and commitment of many elected officials and community stakeholders. But we want to personally thank our state senator, Margaret Rose Henry, for sponsoring this historic plaque for this Wilmington neighborhood to celebrate 75 years of the Walnut Street YMCA. And so with that, thank you, John. <laughs> And so with that, we are going to present the uh, plaque.